Welcome to Grace for All, a daily devotional podcast produced by the Congregation of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. We're glad you're joining us today. Mercy and Redemption He shows mercy to everyone, from one generation to the next, who honors Him as God. Luke chapter 1, verse 50 In Deuteronomy 5, verse 9, God says, I punish children for their parents' sins, even to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. This scripture has always troubled me. I have struggled to understand what it means because my faith is grounded in the love and mercy of God. Over time, I have come to understand these words not so much as a message about punishment, but about consequence. Throughout history, human sin has resulted in a legacy of suffering. Colonization, slavery, and the Holocaust, for example, all caused trauma that extended and still extends through many generations. Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 10 continues, But I show love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. This sounds just like Mary's song, signifying redemption. For where sin and suffering are great, God's loyalty, grace, and mercy are greater. The promise of redemption is the heart of our Christian faith. During this season of Lent, when my thoughts turn inward and I meditate on brokenness and failure and repentance and forgiveness, I need reminders of this promise. Mary sings of God's mercy at a time which must have been fraught with uncertainty, fear, and shame. She had received the assurance of an angel, but she still had to live under the scrutiny of the world. Her words remind me that God's mercy prevails where humankind's does not. God, we are ever grateful that where our sin and suffering are great, your love and mercy are greater. In humility and repentance, may we turn to you, that future generations may be blessed. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. This devotional was written and read by Greta Smith. In 1740, John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement, preached a sermon in Bristol, England, in which he proclaimed, The grace or love of God, whence cometh our salvation, is free in all and free for all. 283 years later, we're humbled to proclaim that message through this Grace for All podcast. Thank you for listening to today's message of grace. I'm Jonathan Jonas, Senior Pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, where the Grace for All podcast is written, edited, and produced by our lay members. To know more about our congregation and its ministries, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G.